Today we unveil a robot that we think is going to be a top contender in that competition, uh, the Atlas. I think robots like Atlas have a, a very great future. There's all kinds of applications that haven't really been uh, developed yet. Um, it's important that the robots become sophisticated enough, not only the hardware, but also their control systems and the sensor systems. And I think Atlas is in a direction where those things are going to keep developing over the years with DARPA work and with other people's work. And uh, I, I think we're going to see just unbelievable things uh, coming down the pike over the next few years. There's a whole number of teams out there that really are talented mostly in software. And for those teams, we didn't want to give them the extra burden of also having to build a robot on their own. And now we've given them the Atlas robot to see how they do with the real thing. Boston Dynamics decided to build this robot called Petman. And that was a robot that was uh, done for testing hazmat suits. So a robot that would act like a living uh, dummy on the inside and move around to test those suits. Petman was successful. Uh, we decided to expand on that and allow the robot to use its arms to clamber around, and we funded a program there to build Atlas. The choice of a humanoid robot for disasters is an interesting question. Uh, what's most important is that the robot be able to get around in human environments. And we've built our environment to suit our bodies. So a robot that roughly matches our bodies tends to align very well. The robot also has to be able to take commands from human beings. And a human being that's supervising a robot can often best imagine what the robot does or can do if the robot has human form. So those three reasons all push us towards the human form. Boston Dynamics has a long history of developing legged robots. And uh, DARPA began funding them to develop a robot called Big Dog, which had four legs. And that eventually developed into a robot called LS3, which is used to carry uh, materials for uh, soldiers. And that's been very successful. And so when the DRC program started, we then looked at all the possible sources of a uh, good robot to give out to these teams. And it turned out that Boston Dynamics was the best. You know, we're kind of an interesting group. I used to be a professor, and quite a few of our people are academic types, but we also are a company. And so we have the best qualities of a company, which has uh, organization and discipline and processes, but also uh, of an academic institution, which has big brains, forward thinking, and we kind of bring those two together.